and welcome to another episode of Roshana Reveals. This will definitely be a car combo segment as I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys a little bit in the parking lot of CVS. Now, you may be wondering why I'm sitting in the parking lot of CVS. It is because I love to coupon. Hello, I saw a CVS video from one cute couponer and she does these great quick CVS videos. Now, in her recent video, she did some paper deals and mixed it up with some digital deals. There were two coupons of hers that I did not have. And so I said, well, let me go into CVS. Let me play around a little bit and let me figure this out. Every time I try to figure it out on my own, I always F up, okay? <laughs> but today, CVS has a buy... $30 worth of household products and get $10 extra bucks in return. My total came up to $52.88. That was prior to sales prices and prior to coupons. Now, I did do two substitutions from her video. And so I was like, $52, um, excuse me, sir. I don't see the sale prices on this little keypad. So he's like, well, you have to tell me what extra bucks you want to use. And then once I press total, it will change the regular prices to the sale prices and then take off the coupons. I had never experienced that before. And it's been about three months since I've been in CVS, almost three months since I've been in CVS. So I don't know if that's something new or not. However, I said, okay, I'm not gonna sit here and like, you know, be silly about it, right? So I told him that there were some extra bucks, $10 that I had on my account that I had not used, of course, because I haven't been to CVS. Once he pressed the total button, y'all, my order came up to $13. I got one Tide liquid. I got one Tide pod. I got two all liquid detergent. I got two of the baby 99 cents Dawn dishwashing liquid. And I got some Downy Unstoppables. Regularly priced $52.88. Sale plus extra bucks, 13, 16. I can't remember the exact change, but it was $13. I am so happy. So then I see that there are the Scott paper towels. This is the six equals 11. There were literally two more left, you guys. So from her video, you get the $10 extra bucks back and you can purchase, you know, other items. So she purchased one Scott paper towel and some Arizona iced tea. I didn't need the Arizona iced tea. I would have rather gotten this two Scott paper towels. So Scott paper towels are on sale for $5 and 49 cents or something like that. So I, there was only two left you guys. I grabbed those two Scott paper towels. <laughs> I used the $10 extra bucks for this transaction. With tax, I paid $1.05. $1.05, y'all, for two six roll bundles of Scott paper towel products. You all cannot beat that. $1.05. Come on. And. I was waiting all day because of course <clears throat> I worked from home today and I always try to do things after my work hours or during my lunch break or before my work hours. So I was looking at the clock and I was like, okay, it's five. Okay. It's like four, you know, 50 by the time I, you know, get my keys together, get everything together. It'll be five o'clock walking out of the house and I can go to CVS and y'all it worked out perfectly because I got to grab the last two Scott paper towels. Whew, thank you, Jesus. 
This makes me really happy. Why? Because today was not the best day, you guys. It really was not. I did not get any sleep last night. I have been having these weird and crazy dreams lately, and some of them have really been boggling my spirit and have been boggling my brain. And waking up after two hours of sleep from weird dreams and then not going to bed for another two hours and then going, you know, falling back to sleep and then tossing and turning, it just does not make for a great day the next day. Now, I've never, I'm not gonna say never, most times I only get about six hours of sleep. That's actually a great night for me. There have been some times I've gotten eight hours of sleep and there have been some times that I've only gotten four hours of sleep or maybe two hours of sleep and I don't function very well the next day. So this morning we were supposed to get up and run five and a half miles. At three o'clock in the morning the skies opened up and decided to bless us with a torrential downpour. I dozed off thinking that the rain was, was stopping. When the alarm went off at 645, it was still raining. Now, have I run in the rain before? Yes. Have we run in the rain together before, the mister and I? Yes. But today, it was one of those days where it was like, neither one of us are getting up to run in the rain. So because I did not get good sleep, I decided to go back to sleep and try to get some rest for about an hour or so. I ended up dragging myself out of the bed, you know, getting up, checking my work email, checking my work phone to ensure that, you know, I'm still on task. And then uh, we went to the doctor and spent more time in the doctor's office than we should have, but we just had to make sure that things were right. And after that, came home. Now, by the time we left the doctor's office, it was sunny, but it was overcast and the rain had dis disappeared. And so I was like, okay, I gotta go for a run. My head is not right. My body is still sore from the workouts that I put it through during the weekend, but I'm gonna do this run, right? And so I'm looking at the sky and I'm thinking, okay, it's a very, very nice overcast day to complete a run. Y'all, by the time I got home from the doctor's office, it was like, 85 degrees and I was like where did this sun come from at first the mister and I were going to run at four but then in my spirit I was just like I gotta get this running because I'm dragging behind I am not in the right headspace and I just I, I was just feeling really antsy and when I get like that that means I got to clear my head I got to clear my head I got to clear my spirit I've got to get it right up in here or I'm not gonna be able to function so I said to myself listen I'm gonna take this time this is gonna be my lunch break I'm gonna take this time and I'm going to get a run in now Samsung health app allows you to set your target goal prior to your run. I was so afraid that I was not going to meet my five mile goal that I set it for three miles. So if I hit the three mile goal, I wouldn't be so hard on myself and I wouldn't be so upset because I knew that I would have at least got something done, right? But I was like, Rashana, you know, yesterday was supposed to be your long run day but you worked out really hard instead. It was your cyclical keto Sunday and you did carb up. You ate over 100 grams of carbs, so you've got to burn this off. 
You've got to keep going in your health journey because there are goals that you need to meet and you cannot allow the demons that are floating around in your spirit and in your head right now to take control of your life. So you need to surpass that three mile goal. You need to hit that original five mile goal and you need to be out here killing it. Y'all, it was hot. I was running against the wind. My body was sore. My brain wasn't in the right place, but I kept going. I kept pushing. Miles one and two were difficult because I was still up here, okay? Mile two, I said, okay, girl, it's time to put on some real music. Like I had music on, but it was like, oh, whatever. I busted out like some old school hip hop. Microphone checker, swinging sword lecture, closing down the sector, supreme neck protector, better want them kid. And I said, okay, you need to get it popping. So miles two to three, I was like, yes, I'm going strong, right? <sighs> the wind picked up and I was like, y'all, listen. Mile three to four, I was running against the wind the entire mile. At mile four, I was like, listen, you will not slow down. You will not stop. You will not walk. Your goal is five miles. You can do this. Put one foot in front of the other. No matter how slow it is, you are going to keep pressing forward. And that's exactly what I did, you guys. I put one foot in front of the other. I kept pressing forward and y'all, I made it. Five miles down, I made it. And as hard as that run was, as hard as it was to get out of my head, I still kept reminding myself that I have this goal and I need to complete this goal and I cannot allow anything to come and interfere with that. And guess what, y'all? I finished the, the five mile run in like an hour Y'all, four o'clock, the original time that we were supposed, we were gonna go run, it started raining. And I was like, oh, thank you God, thank you God that I got up and I showed up for myself and I did it, I did it. And today I actually did a post run stretch. I gotta get this soreness out of my body. And I know it's because I'm not stretching properly. I just need to stretch, stretch, stretch and make sure that I am taking care of my body because I am putting my body through some stuff and my body is trying to fight back against that. But I really just need to take care of it. So tomorrow is going to be a rest day and I'm going to definitely stretch. I am going to do a about a 10 minute stretch before bed tonight and I'm just going to keep going you guys. I've actually started to increase my water as well. I actually got up to like 106 ounces. Not, no, yesterday was 85. The day before was 106. And I'm like, okay, I need to keep going, you guys. And I started reading a book. I am doing Nicole Burgess's challenge, the 10 pages a day challenge. And even though today when I'm recording this, it's ended because it starts a new challenge, which is the freezer slash pantry challenge, which we cannot go to the store and purchase anything except milk, produce, and bread for this entire week. We need to eat what is in our refrigerators. We need to eat what's in our pantries. We need to eat what's in our freezers. We have two deep freezers and we're definitely going to get some use out of cleaning those deep freezers out. So I'm excited, but I was reading this. I started reading, reading this, Black Privilege by Charlemagne the God. And it actually, this is a self-help book and it's also a non-fiction, wait, it's a non-fiction. Yes, fact, non-fiction. It is a non-fiction book. It is a story about his life and where he grew up and how he got to where he is today. And understanding that opportunity comes to those who create it. And Charlemagne the God is a radio personality that is very difficult for people to accept and swallow and process. Sometimes when I hear him on the radio, I'm like, Ugh. but he's so raw and he's so honest. And in this book, he explains the reasons why. 
and it's very interesting his perspective on life and his perspective that even though you come from you know wherever you come from you can create opportunities for yourself and you can reach your goals and you can make it so I'm really liking this book I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna continue to read these 10 pages a day until I am done with this book because in January we are starting 75 hard and when I say we I mean me and a group from the ketogenic community that that I'm a part of we're doing a challenge called the 75 hard and I will put up the rules um, somewhere up here and it's by Andy Priscilla, I think that's his name. And he came up with this challenge and a lot of people mistake it for a physical challenge, like a losing weight challenge, but it's actually a mental endurance challenge. And I'm excited to try it. I know that it's not gonna be easy. I know that it's gonna be something that is going to really push me to my limits but i am so ready guys i'm ready to get pushed to my limits i'm ready to get taken out of my comfort zone because it's time for some changes in my life y'all it's time for some big time changes and i am ready to position myself to be able to receive the blessings that i know that my lord and savior has in store for me so as I always say, whatever you guys are going through, keep pressing forward. Whatever it takes for you to get over that hump, if it's not illegal or immoral, right? Do it. Keep staying the course, you guys. Keep going. Do not stop. You can stop and take a breath and take a breather and get some rest, but make sure you get up and you keep pressing forward. We all go through some times in our lives where it is difficult. You know, sometimes we may feel like we don't want to get up. Sometimes, you know, those demons in our head and in our, you know, that are surrounding our spirits want to fight us. And sometimes they, they try to win. Don't allow them to win, you guys. Don't allow them to win. So whatever it is that your goals are, whatever it is you're setting your mind to, let's, let's get on it. Okay, let's get on it comment below tell me what some of your goals are tell me what it is that you want to do not just in 2021 but to top off and finish off 2020 because even though we are at the end of the year it doesn't mean that we can't succeed right exactly so anyway you guys thank you for rocking with me you see it's getting dark out here and i still got to go home and make some dinner for everybody so whatever it is that you guys are going through keep pressing forward thank you guys for rocking with me thank you guys for rolling with me thank you guys for listening to me as i sit in my car and i give you some conversations you know some stuff that that's just in my brain you you know because I have to remember and please remember this that my mission is to champion others to be the best versions of themselves and to empower you guys to make a positive difference in the world and so I hope I am continuing to do that with these videos that I'm making the things that I'm posting on my social media pages I, I really hope that I am an inspiration for you all in any case, thank you guys so much and always come back and find out what Roshana will reveal next. Later.